Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and the other day somebody asked me a question that how to be satisfied and how to be happy in life, my god, there's no satisfaction, I'm just running after things, I want this, I want that, my, 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 there's no satisfaction, you see, so how to be satisfied and to be happy with whatever we have, alright, so we will shortly discuss on it today, hopefully. <laughs> So if you're new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed, then please subscribe to it. And if you have already subscribed, then please watch the other videos which I have. Many of you have been asking me many questions, which I've already answered in 555 or 58 videos which I have in my uh, channel. Okay, there are many playlists which I have. You can go there and watch. There's tons of content just for you. And if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to know how to be satisfied and how to be happy in life and if you want a consultation from me then please approach me through my website you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video below okay and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and he will help you become happy now i had once asked this question to one of my gurus that how to be happy how to be satisfied in life he gave me a very peculiar answer he said that the secret to satisfaction in life is to never be satisfied. Yes, should I repeat? The secret to satisfaction in life is to never be satisfied. And then I was like, but I want satisfaction. <laughs> so how do I get satisfaction if I, if I should never ask for satisfaction? He said, the secret to satisfaction and happiness in material life is to never be satisfied spiritually. Did I sound right? Yes. If you want to be happy and satisfied in your material life, I'm not talking of spiritual life, in your material life, then you must never be satisfied spiritually, which means you should always have a desire to become more and more and more and more spiritual. Only then you will be ever satisfied in your material life. Otherwise, because see, the Vedanta Sutra says, Ananda Mayo Bhyasa. Should I repeat? Ananda Mayo Bhyasa. That the soul is looking for eternal pleasure, unlimited pleasure. My God. You will not be happy by eating one scoop of ice cream or a gulab jamun or rabdi. <laughs> Some of you might become, but at least the soul doesn't get satisfied. You will not be happy if you indulge physically with 100 people from the opposite sex okay you will never be happy ananda mayo bhyasa the soul is looking for unlimited pleasure you are not the body you are soul krishna says in the gita yes so we will never be satisfied with material objects because it is a fundamental incompatibility because we are not material bodies and we are looking happiness in material objects so when we uh, come into this body, which means when the Atma is identifying with this body, then the Atma thinks that the things pertaining to material objects, that means things like uh, opposite sex, food and all these things, they will give us happiness. But that's the problem. You see, we end up becoming more miserable when we uh, look for happiness in material things. Okay. So now suppose you're married, you have kids or you're going to the office day in and day out or you have your own business or you're single or whatever you are doing in life so you sometimes feel that you are not satisfied and happy that is pretty obvious because you cannot be satisfied with material things okay but the good thing is you can be satisfied in your spiritual life by going more and more and more high okay Yamuna Acharya, one of the great Acharyas in the Sri Vaishnava tradition, he says, Nava Navara Sadhama Iti, he says that, he says this in context to worshipping Lord Krishna, he says that, when I am worshipping Lord Krishna, Nava Nava means Rasa, every day newer and newer and newer mellows I am experiencing, every day he is experiencing. So the mellow which he is experiencing today, uh, which he was experiencing yesterday is uh, now that is less than what he's experiencing today and what he will be experiencing tomorrow is again different all right so that that is what the soul is looking for ocean oceanic happiness it is said uh, in the Srimad Bhagavatam that the residence of Vrindavan where Lord Krishna had performed his uh, childhood pastimes 
there the residents of vrindavan vraj bhumi which i visited luckily some days back the residents of vrindavan are dying in ecstasy should i repeat they are dying actually it's like there is so much happiness they are not able to uh, <laughs> they are not able to live only it's like happiness is overflowing from their bodies you know body mind soul whatever you call it. it's like it's like a ocean of nectar which is uh, going out from there they are not able to contain the level of happiness people say that i am so miserable that i feel like committing suicide that means they are not able to contain the level of pain that is why they are committing suicide it's like it has gone beyond <laughs> but the residents of vrindavan just imagine they are they are also dying but they are not dying out of misery they are dying out of ecstasy they are so much happy <laughs> because lord krishna is giving them happiness even it is the same with the residents of ayodhya you know when lord ram was there in the forest for so many years my god it's diwali time now it is said that the residents of ayodhya were, they were so miserable that they they did not even light a diya a lamp they did not even do that that is why when lord ram returned it is celebrated diwali is the festival of lights there was lights all over imagine the level of happiness which they had my god it's the same like in vrindavan <laughs> okay so we should never be satisfied with our spiritual uh, experiences which means that today suppose we visited this holy place then there itself we should make another resolution that tomorrow or maybe next month or maybe next year or maybe when i have the time or when i have the number of leaves from my company i will visit another place you should prepare in advance for one year if possible if you are in place like india then you can visit a holy place every month okay holy place does not mean only the dhams like haridwar vrindavan mathura rishikesh varanasi and all these places but holy places are also the places where there are greatly spiritually elevated personalities who are speaking about god that is actually a holy place because there's one uh, scripture i, I don't remember, recall the name but in that scripture lord vishnu tells that i do not reside in the holy dhams i do not even reside in vaikuntha my god then where do, does he reside <laughs> he says that i reside in the place where my devotees are chanting my glories they are speaking about me with great delight machita madgata prana bodhayanta parasparam kathayantascha mam nityam tushyanti charamanti cha krishna says in the gita kathayantascha mam nityam tushyanti charamanti cha so the thing is we have to get more and more elevation in our spiritual life then automatically on a soul platform we are very happy you see then our material cravings will subside then we will feel happiness in our material life also yes 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 then only we will feel happiness otherwise you you see there are precedents yes there are precedents of countries like they have so much power but they are having sex scandals i will not take name everybody knows about whom i am talking how, how how does it happen there are people who have millions and billions and trillions of dollars but they are having scandals on finances yes they are looting the money of the public yes there's so much uh, so much harassment of women these days i mean it has always been there but nowadays this me too movement is there my god what a shame it is see the the pathetic situation of women in this kali yuga shrimad bhagavatam tells us in detail what is the what will be the miserable situation of women in kali yuga this is nothing what is happening now why this is happening because the people are not finding satisfaction in material things they can be if they are spiritually happy then they can very easily uh, stay faithfully committed to one wife but no they will not do that they will go on indulging with multiple partners they will go on uh, abusing women harassing women sexually raping them also killing them sometimes we all know what had happened in uh, delhi 16th uh, december we know that horrific incidents right long back i'm mean, not last year so why these things are happening because people are people are not realizing that they will never be happy by doing all these things they are thinking that we will be happy no 
you will get pleasure you will not be happy should i repeat you will get pleasure but you will not be happy the soul is not going to be happy by getting all this the soul is only going to be happy when he ब्रह्मभूत प्रसन्नात्मा न सोचति न कांक्षति समासु भूतेषु मद्भक्ति लभते परा ब्रह्मभूत प्रसन्नात्मा न सोचति न कांक्षति ब्रह्मभूत वन हु इज सिचुएटेड इन स्पिरिचुअल ब्लिस न सोचति न कांक्षति ही डज नॉट सोचति कांक्षति ही डज नॉट हैंकर और लमेंट हैंकरिंग इज आई वॉन्ट दिस आई वॉन्ट दैट ये चाहिए वो चाहिए It's like a tongue which is vibrating. Oh my God! See, I have taken so much haldi. <laughs> my fingers have become yellow. So chati na kang chati. Yes, and even lamenting. Oh my God! I have lost this girlfriend. I lost that boyfriend. The moment I made this video on Venus retrograde, everybody is sending me emails. Oh, my Venus is retrograde. Blah blah blah. This happened. That happened. Will my ex boyfriend come back? Will my ex girlfriend come back? my question is even if your she comes back will you be happy no that cannot happen yes because if you would have been if if it is possible that when they come back you will be happy then they would have never left you or you would have never left them yes but people don't understand they think that if their ex comes back you will be very happy in life okay and i am not talking of teenagers here there are people who are in 50s and 60s and 40s not 60s i would say 40s around 50s they have also mail, mailed me Oh you know will my ex uh, wife come back ex husband come back i mean come on man how can you find happiness in a place where you lost it it can't happen but the problem is when we do not find satisfaction in spiritual things these petty things appear very important you see a man who is not having fulfillment spiritually he will always be hitting after the opposite sex oh today i want this girl today i want that girl but a person who is having fulfillment in spirituality will see that he is not looking after all this there can be lapses i am not saying that nobody is perfect spiritually but i am saying that in general he will not be pursuing the opposite sex okay messaging flirting wasting time those these activities will not be there so the solution is we have to obtain happiness in our spiritual activities and then in our material life whatever is coming of its own accord we will accept it and we will be satisfied now this does not mean that i am not endorsing that don't go for a promotion okay don't invest don't uh, go after money i am not saying all this what i am saying is this video is all about whatever you have and whatever you get you be satisfied and then you try to improve your life your financial situation or your marriage or whatever it is that is perfectly fine but when people have this endless cravings now oh my god i need this i need that yeah. then then life becomes hellish you see then even if you are uh, even if you are somehow surviving you are not happy many people are simply existing very less are living should i repeat people simply exist many less are living very few people are actually living in this world there's a big difference between living and existing so i would say don't just exist like a riven cloud <laughs> be happy and live in this material world and when you are spiritually connected only then you can live okay and in in between that you can also sometimes chant divine shlokas you can be happy by chanting you can chant the brahma samhita venum konanta maravinda dalaya taksham barahavatam samasitam budha sundarangam lakshmi sahastra sat sambrama sevyamanam shyamam tribhanga lalitam navayovanam cha govindamadi purusham tamaham bajami yasya sada sakale indri avritti manti i can go on and on <laughs> Okay so you can recite shlokas whenever you meet people you can discuss about them yes you can discuss with your colleagues with your family members with your girlfriend with your boyfriend with your husband my god what all things you can do with the scriptures instead of discussing about the useless rubbish garbage of this world things like oh my god no examples <laughs> cricket football harry potter these that things which will do no good to your life you also know it is simply a waste of time instead of indulging in such useless activities and wasting your valuable spiritual potential which you have which you only have in this human birth that's why the human body is given so that you elevate your consciousness spiritually 
okay instead of doing that we are wasting time behind all these petty things okay now somebody will type in comments oh that means you are saying you should take sanyas and go to the forest no my dear sir no my dear madam i am not saying that <laughs> okay take what i say don't take what i don't say okay i mean uh, please don't misquote me and misinterpret me all right so wherever there is a possibility you do spiritual practices even if when you are going to your office or to your school many teenagers they are watching my videos and they are messaging me okay so whenever you are going uh, in bus or in train instead of watching uh, hearing uh, this music songs yes dhinka chika dhinka chika tumhara dhinka chika ho jayega bhaiya <laughs> your life will become like a movie okay and others will sit and watch oh dekho iska ye ho gaya you know look at his life this happened that happened don't become a laughing stock okay do uh, whenever you are go going from your home to your school or to your office you can hear kirtans beautiful kirtans you can hear shlokas like the brahma samhita you can download from youtube you can hear uh, the tandav sutram of lord of lord shiva jatatrvi galajjala pravaha pavita stale gale valam vilambitam bhujangatunda malikam my god <laughs> beautiful so many are there yes recently i was hearing that uh, there's one uh, video that aigiri nandini that's that song is there wow fantastic it was i was like i was thinking like i, I was feeling as if goddess durga is directly standing in front of me i was feeling like that mrityunjay mantra is there that you can that you can hear okay so that is what i would say when you are fulfilled inside having fulfillment inside as a spirit soul then whatever happens in your material life that will become secondary for you all right so that is how you get satisfaction in material life by never being satisfied with your spiritual progress always crave always hanker just see a materialistic person the way he is running behind women the way he is running behind money oh my god today i want her today i want this money yes this scheme that scheme that job promotion 10% hike 20% hike 0% hike like that you should be hankering for spiritual progress then that is the only way by which you can be happy and satisfied in your material life also okay so there you go if you like this video then click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested in being happy and satisfied <laughs> in this material world and if you want to be happy and satisfied then you can watch my videos or you can go to my website and book a reading from me if you are interested you'll find the link to the website in the description section of this video below okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye see you